Hey everybody, Max Kevin here. So let me give you a podcast not too long. Oh, um, well, you know, uh, my lady friend isn't uh, here. You know, she's in Detroit right now. You know, so uh, basically, my day it's just me, me and the boys, me and Zoro, me and Zoro, and uh, Zoro. He doesn't like uh, he doesn't like not being paid attention to. You know, so like, whenever I'm home, if I'm not paying attention to him, he just starts barking. He's just like, meow. And then, like, if I don't pay attention to him, when he starts barking like that, he'll start, like, barking even more. He'll, like, he'll be like, like that, you know? And, uh, so basically, you know, I'm just uh, not paying attention to him while he does that. And I'm just waiting for him to uh, quiet down, you know? I wait for him to quiet down. And then when he quiets down, I make eye contact with him. And then he's looking at me, you know? And then we're staring at each other, you know? And then, and then I wait for him to sit down. And then when he sits down, I tell him he's a good boy, you know? Then I slowly make my way over to his cage and make sure he, he keeps sitting down and not getting up. Sometimes he gets up, he gets he gets all he gets a little too excited. He gets up, s- slams his body against the cage, and then I'll, I walk away. You know, do the whole thing again. You know, wait for him to be quiet. You know, look over at him, wait for him to sit down, tell him he's a good boy. You know, then I walk over there and, and pick him up, pick him up, take him out of the cage. You know, get a little play with him a little bit. You know, he'll be like, oh yeah. Bye. I'm out of the cage. Oh, God, it's okay. Oh, I love you. I love being out of the cage. I love you so much. Oh, my God, I want to bite your feet. Oh, my God, I love you so much. I want to bite you. You know, so start playing with him, you know, and, uh, you know, as, as you play with him, he, like, he gets, he gets, like, like, at first he's, like, a little relaxed, and then, you know, he gets a little more energy, you know, just play with him a little bit, and then he gets, like, a little more energy, you know, even if you stop playing with him, he's, like, he still gets, he still gets rent, hopped up, excited, you know, like, he just gets... <laughs> As soon as he out, he's out of the cage, he just his excitement level just steadily increases every minute. You know, like at first he'll just be playing a little bit, and then he'll he'll, he'll start getting more excited and more excited, and then he'll start running around the room. And then then he'll go into berserker mode and just fucking run around barking and everything, chewing and everything. You know, it's like oh god, dog, come on, man, why can't why can't you just relax? One of those chill dogs that just that just sleep all day. You know, that's that's kind of what I want here. You know. I don't blame him, you know, he's kind of lonely, you know, he's probably just, when I'm at work, you know, he's just sitting around sleeping all day, you know, so when I'm home, he's like, oh, God, I wanted to play with me, you know, so like, okay, it's all right, you know, I got, I'm doing, I'm doing open my comedy show tonight, I, 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 I gotta put my set together, okay, I can't be putting my set together when you're, when you're chewing on the wires, you know, God, that's the, that's the thing, is I can't, I can't leave him unaccompanied for like five seconds, because he starts, he starts chewing on wires and shit, just like, oh, God, stop chewing on shit, dog, all right, just fucking... Can't you just lick your balls or something like a normal dog? Jesus. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been uh, spending a lot of time with Zoro the last few days, you know? Because uh, he won't he won't allow me to uh, have any me time, you know? He just wants us time. He wants to hang out. He wants to be boys. We're boys, right? Let's be boys together. You know, anyway, uh, let's talk about the UFC results. Of course, uh, Blah, I'm definitely Muslim Muhammad, man. He uh, he took my advice. He uh, let his hands go. You know he didn't he didn't just uh, wrestle wrestle get the guy. You know he, uh, he he knocked him out, dude. Knocked him out, dude. I'm Bilal, definitely Muslim Muhammad. I knock dudes out with my fist of fury. You know so. Uh, congratulations, Bilal Muhammad. You know finally finally a fan favorite. You know the fans like him because he's because he finally he's finally started punching dudes. You know and. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. You know he all, he he of course wants a title shot, but of course. Uh, Alexander Volkanovsky looks like he's going to get the next title shot. So there's a couple guys at 155 that are getting snubbed. You know, like maybe Bilal Muhammad and uh, and uh, and uh, Dariush. You know, I guess I guess they're both from the Middle East. The two Middle East Eastern guys are getting snubbed. I guess that's racism in the UFC. You know, they're not white enough. You know, yeah. Of course, that was another that was another bet that I lost was uh, Mateusz Gamrot versus uh, Dariush. You know. And uh, Darius did uh, what I thought Darius should do, but Matuuz Gamrot, he just decided, like, he didn't have any striking at all. He was like, oh, no, I don't even know how to punch. I think I'm just going to keep tr- going for takedowns. Maybe I'll just, I mean, like, Darius, take, like, wrestling is kind of his his specialty there, you know? That's how he beat, uh, that's how he beat Tony Ferguson with his wrestling there. And, uh... Yeah, Matuuz Gamrot, you know, I guess, I guess his fight before with uh, Armar... Armand Tugarian, you know, where they, they both just wrestled around. They were just rolling around on the ground. You know, I guess maybe that inspired him to uh, try to fight this fight with uh, wrestling. But it's like he didn't try to do anything at all. all. All he did was go for takedowns. Like the first round, he went for like 10 takedowns, and they all got stuffed. 
He didn't take him down once. And then that's all they kept doing. The second, third round, he's like, oh, well, not my, I haven't been able to take you down yet. I've tried 20 times already, and I've failed every single time. I guess maybe I'll just try again. It's like, hey, man, why don't you try punching? You got, you got a leg, too. Why don't you try kicking? Try kicking and punching, all right? You got superior cardio. Why don't you wear the guy out with your punches and kicks? Stop trying to take him down, goddammit. You lost me five bucks, you son of a bitch. Never, I'm never betting on Polish people again. You know, anyway, uh, congratulations to... Uh, to uh, Darius there, you know. Of course, he had a great uh, he had a great speech telling everybody to accept uh, Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior into their heart, you know. He's in Abu Dhabi, full, <laughs> full, full of Muslims. He's like, all right, you guys need Jesus Christ. That's what you need. I guess Muslims do believe in Jesus, right? But uh, they don't they don't really care about him that much. Like they believe he existed or whatever. But I don't know. Or he wasn't the Messiah. He was, but he, he was. He was like God liked him, but he, I don't. I don't know exactly. I've never read the Quran, to be honest. You know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that was uh, that was uh, that was kind of annoying to watch that fight. You know, looking watching Mata Ooze Gamrot, like not. It's called mixed martial arts, dude. It's not called wrestling. Okay, use your goddamn kicks and punches. You owe me five bucks. You know. Uh, next fight, of course, we had uh, Peter. 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 Peter Piotr Panyan versus uh, versus uh, Sean. I got a snow cone on my head, O'Malley. And uh, of course, this is very controversial. This was uh, this is actually a very surprising fight. You know, I thought um, Al O'Malley did a lot better than I thought he would. I was surprised by uh, his wrestling. He actually tried to do a takedown there, and uh, he kind of defended. Uh, he he defended. I mean, he did get taken down six times, but he defended uh, a few takedowns. He, his wrestling uh, was a lot better than I thought it would be. Surprised by that. And, uh, yeah, man, it was competitive, man. It was, uh, it was a good fight. Now, of course, it was a very controversial decision, okay? O'Malley won, and, uh, basically no one, no one thought he won. Even O'Malley thought he lost. Like, at the end of the fight, when they're interviewing him, he's like, oh, yeah, I don't know, uh, might have to watch that one back there. Oh, I'm not, I'm not so sure there, you know? I mean, he, he clearly looked defeated. He looked defeated, you know, because he knew he lost, basically, you know? And, uh, yeah, I guess most people are saying, like, the first and third round were close, Everybody knows Yan won the second round, but first and third round were close. But uh, I went back and watched it again, you know, and the uh, the first round there, I guess, I mean, O'Malley landed more strikes, but they were just like little cutie, little cutie jabs, you know? And like, I mean, he landed one right hand that was like what I would call a damaging strike, you know? Which was a, a big strike. And then, But uh, Peter Pan Piotr Yan, he, uh, he landed a hard leg kick that buckled his leg. He took him down. He controlled the he controlled the the fight in that first round. I mean, it, it should definitely be. There's no way Sean O'Malley could win that first round. I mean, it, Justice is fucking terrible, man. I don't I don't see how. He, I don't see. I mean, Yan had more. He had he controlled the whole pace of the fight of that round. You know, he took him down. He landed some good shots. I mean, they both landed, but uh, you know. Then of course the third round there. You know, I mean, I thought O'Malley won that round, but. But if you're giving that first, if you're giving that first round to O'Malley, then you could just as easily give that third round to Yan. You know, if that's if your criteria is, oh, it was close, it was a close round. Oh, oh. Yeah. I thought the third round went to O'Malley there, but uh, of course the most significant strike was that knee, that knee to the head that that opened up Yan, gave him a cut there, and uh, and I was watching there, and but Yan landed a lot of hard, really hard counter strikes, you know. Like it kind of looked like O'Malley had the volume advantage in in that third round there, but uh, those counter strikes that that Yan landed were were very hard, you know. So uh, like if that knee hadn't opened up a cut, I don't know. I think maybe that that cut is what kind of persuaded the judges to give uh, O'Malley round three. I thought O'Malley won round three actually, but it could be argued that without that cut, you know, I mean Yan landed really hard counters and he uh, he took him down again. He took I think he took him down twice. In that round there. You know, so, uh... Yan clearly won that fight. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. You know, anyway, uh... Then, of course, we had, uh... TJ, o, TJ IPO Dillashaw versus Aldermaid Sterling, which was a very boring fight because, uh... TJ's shoulder didn't work or something. He had, he had a dislocated shoulder for, for, like, six months and he didn't tell anybody. He's like, oh, well, I'm an old man and I do IPO, but my shoulder keeps falling out, but this is probably my last fight ever. My last chance of the bell, so I'm not going to tell anybody. Hopefully it doesn't fall out, you know, and then it falls out in the first five seconds of the fight there. It's like, hey, man. Hey, man. Just quit being selfish, all right? 
Jesus, you know. So that fight was disappointing. Then, of course, we had, uh, yeah, good thing I, I bet on that one. I bet on Algerman Sterling. Ten bucks. Ten bucks on that one. I win five bucks. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dog. Um, then, of course, we had uh, Islam Makhchev versus uh, Charles Oliver. I was also very surprised by that one, by a uh, couple things there. Uh, Makhchev's, uh, Makhchev's striking was uh, was really good there. You know, he hasn't really... That's that's the one thing that's the one thing that I thought I thought uh, Oliveira would win there because like Makachev's striking has never really looked that good you know and he's never really used it I guess but uh, maybe he's been hiding it like a, like Super Saiyan Goku you know just not not showing his true potential until it's absolutely necessary you know so uh, yeah his striking looked really good there man I mean he he, he outstruck he outstruck Oliveira you know so uh, and I thought Oliveira would have a huge advantage on the feet there but uh, he didn't. He didn't. Makachev's striking was uh, was uh, was top level, man. And because of that, I don't think anyone's ever going to beat him. I don't think. I mean, that was the only question: is that like maybe you have someone who had better striking than him? But Ol- Oliveira probably has the best striking in the division. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Poirier. Yeah, I would say yeah, I'd say Oliveira probably has the best striking in the division. I think yeah, Poirier and Gaethje are up there, but uh, Oliveira is just he's more creative than those guys. And uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of some other, some other dudes in the division now. No, no, no. Yeah, Michael Chandler. Yeah, yeah. Michael Chandler's more of a brawler, I guess. He's not really. Yeah. You know. Anyway. Uh, yeah, Islam Makhachev's uh, striking looked really good. I was really surprised by that. Of course, in the first round, they're they're like getting the clinch, and uh, Oliveira like takes him to the ground. Like he gives him a bear hug and takes him to the ground. And I was just thinking, like, what are you doing there, dude? What are you, you're not supposed to take this dude to the ground. You're taking the fight to the ground? I don't know about that. That was a mistake. Your advantage is striking. Don't take the fight to the ground. You know? Anyway, uh, congratulations to uh, Islam Makhachev. You know? uh, of course, after all, all my bets, I ended up losing 10 bucks. Fucking bullshit, dude. Fucking bullshit, dude. I guess... Uh, yeah, I guess if Mateusz Gamrot had... Uh, had now wrestled so much, I wouldn't have. I would have broken even. Oh well, man, I'm so tired. I got up at I got up at six thirty this morning, you know, because I had to I had to let uh, Zora out to go poop. You know, he's got to go poop before I got to go to work. You know, so I got to get up like twenty minutes earlier. You know, make sure he goes poop. He pooped three times this morning. That's that's probably his second favorite hobby. His first his first favorite hobby is biting stuff. Second favorite hobby is pooping on stuff. Uh, I don't think he had, he doesn't have room for three hobbies. He's just more of a he's more of a two hobby, two hobby guy. You know anyway. I gotta go to this uh, open mic tonight. I gotta go to this open mic tonight. I don't even know. God, I'm so tired. I don't even know. God, I don't. I, don't, I really don't want to go. To be honest, you know, I just want to take a nap. I want to take a little nap. I want to take a little nappy pup. You know? No. But yeah, I got a I got a comedy show on Saturday. Uh, so I gotta prepare for that. Yeah. Okay, of course, uh, you know it's like Halloween weekend over here in uh, in Tokyo, in Japan. You know, the big fucking party, dude. Shibuya, dude. Dude, get the everybody's going to Shibuya, bro. It's the fucking party town, dude. It's Tokyo's party town, dude. Everyone goes there on Halloween and just get fucking drunk. You know, they like they like banned alcohol a couple of years ago. And, uh, of course, then there was the coronavirus, so I guess, I'm, uh, I don't know, I wasn't here, so I, I'm guessing no one really went that year, but then last year I didn't, I didn't go because I was too fucking lazy, but uh, I think I'm going to go this year, maybe meet up some, meet up with my boys, meet up with my boys, get fucking drunk, party all night, you know, wear a costume, just be like, oh my god, look at your costume, it's fucking cold though, my nipples are hard, you know, um, anyway, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today, thanks for listening, maybe we'll see you tomorrow.